Okay, what you see in front of you is the CR48 Chrome OS Notebook from the Pilot Program. Now with this device, you get 3G connectivity through Verizon Wireless here in the United States. This video is going to focus on setting up the Chrome OS Notebook with Verizon Wireless. Now we're first going to start out with going to the wrench icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen here. And we're going to click on that and go to settings. The next thing we're going to do is hit the internet link on the left hand side of the screen here. When I click on that, it's going to bring up a list of all the wireless networks in the neighborhood and the one I'm connected to. In that selection, in that menu there, it's going to have a Verizon wireless selection in there. I'm going to click on activate on that. Now here we go, it says activating your data service. This might take a few minutes. With Chrome Notebooks, it's easy to get connected anytime and anywhere with built-in 3G. By activating Verizon Wireless on your Chrome Notebook, you get 100 megabytes of free data every month for two years, access to America's largest and most reliable 3G network, no contracts, pay for only what you need, rates beginning as low as $9.99, no activation, and there we go. It says, welcome to mobile broadband self-activation. Now, 100 megabytes per month is pretty low. So it's going to be pretty much only good for email here and there. Nothing, no big video files or anything like that. But it's good in case I catch myself without an internet connection. So this page here, it says, welcome to mobile broadband self-activation. Before we begin, please enter the location for the area where you plan to use your mobile broadband service the most so we can give you accurate information about wireless pricing, coverage, customer service, and offers near you. Click Submit to continue. So basically what I need to do here is enter in my zip code, um, or I could enter in my state and then search for cities, but the easiest thing to do is enter the zip code. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, Verizon Wireless was my wireless carrier of choice. I had it for many years before I jumped over to T-Mobile. The reason I jumped to T-Mobile is because the G1 came out and I had to have it. So I had to have that day one, so I jumped over to T-Mobile and, and I've been there ever since. And I'm pretty happy with it. But Verizon Wireless is one of the best carriers in the country and it offered excellent service in my area. And I can't complain. Had they had the phone I wanted, I'd still be with them. But I know they have great Android phones now. So, you know, never say never, I might go back. But uh, right here what you have is the mobile broadband plans that they allow. And right out the gate you get 100 megabytes of data per month for 24 months for free, just for owning the device. If you need more than that, you can go with a day pass, which is $9.99 for the day, and you get unlimited data for the day. If you want to go with a plan, you can do a 1 gigabyte per month plan for $20, a 3 gigabyte plan per month for $35, and a 5 gigabyte plan per month for $50. Now basically it needs me to fill in my name, address, all that good stuff, and uh, it wants uh, payment information. Now the payment information is still required even if I'm going to do a free account probably because they want to make it very easy for you to buy a day pass and then just charge your account whatnot. So basically I just have to add, enter in my credit card information for that and I'm just going to go with the 100 megabytes uh, per month plan just to activate it. I'm probably not going to use this a lot on the road and as it is it's not really something I need to be using you know because I do have a cell phone that I can get my my basic needs for that way. But there's one thing to note up in the upper right hand corner up here right by the battery icon is a 3G icon. So I'm currently on the 3G uh, spectrum right now for this website here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in all my information here and I'll catch you on the other side of that. Okay it's processing my request and it says we are processing your request. Please note this could take one to five minutes. All right, I'm activated, I'm ready to go, and I have 100 megabytes a month if I wanna use it. That's not a whole lot, but um, hey, it's something. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you next time.